Hey everyone, Fire here. Today we're going to be doing a quick review of all of the best builds that I'd recommend for League starting in Sentinel League. First on our list is Poisonous Concoction. Now this is a skill that's still relatively new to the game, but ever since its release it's been fairly popular and it's had a pretty good showing with consistent results across both leagues. Poison Concoction's main niche is its very high base damage combined with the ability to shotgun projectiles without incurring a damage penalty. Additionally, this build is not very reliant on uniques at all, but I think what makes this skill so appealing to so many players is the fact that it has a very easy time getting defensive without feeling bad. This is one of those builds that you simply have to slap on a few spell suppression rares and you're good to go, the game pretty much plays itself at that point. The skill's largest weakness is that although it does have a high ceiling, it has a hard time reaching there. You can scale this build to the point where it's capable of defeating a wave 30 simulacrum, but it's going to be pretty expensive in most cases. Bus DPS definitely isn't a strong suit of this build, but that said if you're someone who is able to invest a bit of money into the build, you're certainly not going to have any problems. If you're interested in playing these builds for yourself, I'd recommend using Isoro or Asmodeus's build guide. I've linked both of them in the description below. Next up is Explosive Arrow Ballista. This is a relatively new archetype as well. In fact, this only started seeing play last league. Explosive Arrow's main niche is that it's able to deal damage purely through its ballistas. You don't have to actually be attacking anything, you just place your ballistas and run and they do all of the work. In addition to the safety afforded by the ballistas, you also run a very healthy amount of evasion, armor, and life with this setup, which ends up making this one of the more forgiving meta playstyles. Unlike some of the other builds on this list, this build has no trouble whatsoever in reaching its high ceiling. You're going to be able to scale this build up into eventually defeating the Simulacrum, and this is probably going to be a great build for doing uber bosses, but it's not going to be that expensive to get there. This build's main weakness is its lack of recovery. It doesn't have very many ways to regenerate large amounts of life when it's doing boss fights, and this really holds it back in some ways. Some people like to fix this problem by playing it as a Hierophant, but after testing it myself, I can definitely say this is the best setup available to us. If you want to play this build for yourself, I'm linking Palstron's build guide in the description below. It's been fully updated for 3.18, and he has a lot of really great resources for this build that he's generated over the last three months. Next up on our list is Spectral Helix, and there's a pretty good reason why. Spectral Helix is really good damage scaling, and it can be played on a bunch of different archetypes that have no troubles whatsoever scaling their defenses. This makes it a pretty good all-around build. Additionally, there are multiple different ascendancies and playstyles for this skill, so if you're looking for a bit of variety, you have a lot of options. There really isn't much more to say about this one, other than its main drawback is that it has a very cumbersome playstyle that a lot of people may not like. It deals damage with a very weird delay, and it's also very inconsistent. You cast it, and then you move on, and it might hit the targets, and sometimes it might not, which means occasionally, if you're doing a map where you really need to kill all of the enemies, you might find yourself doing a bit of backtracking. This could also be very frustrated when you're fighting bosses that are moving around a lot, because quite often they can move in ways where they completely avoid taking any damage from your Spectral Helix casts. Although I was unable to find any updated 3.18 guides, I went back and pulled out the 3.17 guides that people recommended to me the most. I'm going to link to Kobe, Tripolar Bear, and Telvani's version of the builds in the description below. The fourth option on this list is Summon Skeletons. This is a longtime favorite of a lot of players, and it has probably the most sustained power out of all of the options that we've reviewed so far. Skeleton mages play very similarly to totems, with one major difference. Their projectiles travel very far. This makes them really good for clearing maps in addition to killing bosses. Skeleton Mages is just a build that has very few weaknesses. It starts off good, and the more you pump money into it, the greater it gets. I believe it was responsible for one of the first ever Wave 30 Simulacrum kills, and it's no surprise when you consider that it comes with both really great damage and also far better defenses than any of the other builds previewed here yet. It's not all roses, however. One of the major weaknesses of this build is its slow start at the start of a league. You don't even get to start playing Skeleton Mages, but rather you have to start off with Skeleton Warriors or a different minion entirely until you obtain the jewel to allow you to summon Skeleton Mages. Additionally, being a minion build, you're often left at the whims of what I would describe as fairly underwhelming AI. If you are looking to scratch that minion itch, then I would highly recommend using Kay's Guide, which I'm going to be linking in the description below. Last on this list, and the build I'm going to be playing, is the Fizz Trapper. Fizz Trapper has been insane for quite some time now, and even though GGG tried to nerf it last league, they didn't really succeed. This build has some of the best boss-killing potential on a budget in the entire game, and it's been that way for a while. I can see this being the build of choice for all of the people intending to do uber farming next league. Although, even if you're just the kind of person who has a hard time unlocking all of your favorite slots in your Void Stones, this is still a really good option for you. 
This build's main weakness is simply being squishy. Now it does come with between 4 to 5k life, it's usually capping spell suppression and runs enough evasion, however compared to some of the other builds on this list, it's maybe not adding up. Still, that all said, I'm intending on playing this build as my league starter anyway, I'm intending on being able to do all of the uber content in the game with this, and I think you should consider it as well. If you're interested, I'm going to be linking Lolkahol and Papa Maps guides in the description below. Last on the list is an honorable mention that I'm going to be giving to Firetrap. Firetrap was buffed last league, and although it's not quite as proven as the other builds in this list, it definitely has a lot of potential, and a lot of the people who have been testing it for the upcoming league start have a lot of good things to say about it. Firetrap is not substantially different to Seismic Trap in that both skills deal a substantial amount of damage delivered over time rather than right away. They both have decent area of effects. Seismic Trap pulls ahead for bossing, however, Firetrap in comparison is much better for clearing maps. In fact, if you want to have a more map-focused league start, I would definitely recommend playing Firetrap over Seismic Trap. Another advantage of Firetrap over Seismic Trap is that the build that people are going to be running is far more defensive than the typical Seismic Trap setup. The one major downside of League starting Firetrap this league, however, is that it hasn't been pushed to its limits yet, and it hasn't received nearly as much testing as all of the other builds on this list. So if you're someone who's a little more risk averse, maybe you want to skip out on playing it this league, it may be strong and remain unnerfed, and then you can play it next league. If you do want to play it this league, however, I'm going to leave a link to Tripolar Bear's version in the description below. If you like this video, give me a like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.